one of the meccas of, of all sorts Jackson of Jackson Heights or Jackson Hole. That's Jackson, what I'm Jackson, thinking about. Main people. Street versus whatever they do out there virtually or whatever. Elk. Well, yeah, they're not even there. They're not even there. Elk. Yeah, actually, Jackson Hole is one of the poster children for wealth inequality in this country. I don't know if you've seen some of the demographic data, but um, it's sort really, of poetic that they hold. Well, okay, you want, you want that? Actually, you want, and by the way, it has only gone up dramatically yeah. since because so many people have bought second homes and or primary residences oh, now true. because they feel like they can work remotely what are you about? full come, time. Come the revolution, it's going to be a bad place. <laughs> okay, so let, it is a beautiful place. Okay, so let me just tell you, you think that's beautiful? Uh, the toughest man in business, toughest person in business, is Frank Slimman, from Snowflake, uh, the Flying Dutchman. He once did uh, pretty much call me an idiot for not understanding his business model. That's okay. I had studied it for about five hours, so I don't understand. That's his old. No, he called me one too, I think. Yeah, he did. Oh, yeah. no, he pretty yeah. quickly called you out. Yeah. Just when he, when he ran service now. Uh, Frank said something to me last night that was extraordinary. He's moved to Bozeman. He said, the productivity now, pretty funny, the productivity now is so great. Why? Because you can make people work seven days. It's not a problem. They can work around the clock. It's just very difficult. You used to have to go to the office. They would leave the office. No more. Now it's just work all the time, and it, they, and you don't travel. It's never been this good. Uh, this is a big boost of productivity. Work at home is a joke. <laughs> It's work. Uh, maybe why operating margins came in well above, yeah. and they now see product revenue in the low 90s, prior mid-80s. Here's what Slootman told Jim. 